The internet isn't just some faraway digital galaxy. It's moved from some big box sitting on your desk to a small cell phone right at your fingertips. In the last decade, Brooks Bell has influenced what you swipe or click. We are a customer-centric experimentation consultancy, which is... What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, not a lot of people really know. It's kind of a niche within a niche all the tiny details and building the code. The 38-year-old isn't like a boss. She is the boss. I, I, I knew I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. The Raleigh Techie improves websites for businesses. Her team of 50 people makes it easier for you to navigate sites so that you eventually click into the cart. Adobe, Google Analytics, IBM, and at least a dozen others believe in her work. That's why they're partners. Brooks' new business was her path, but she had to fall in love with tech. He wanted to be a tech entrepreneur. I wanted to spend time with him. I thought maybe we should do this together. And we started our first company, the website company, together. The Duke grad and her now husband, Jesse Lipson, started that venture 15 years ago. I felt like websites are here to stay. You need, everybody is going to need a website. He later created ShareFile and sold it to Citrix for $54 million. Brooks founded her own company, and together, they co-founded this popular spot where I interviewed her, HQ Raleigh. Love pushed her to tech. AOL tested her passion. You've got mail. At the time, the biggest technology company in the country was America Online. Uh, they asked me to design them some pop-ups and landing pages and other digital media. Uh, I fell in love with experimentation and A-B testing, and it just feels like that's what the Internet is built for. From there, she wrote her own path, but her rise came with a few bugs. And he looked at me and saw that half my face was drooping, and I tried to laugh it off. And then I realized I couldn't say anything. I lost my ability to speak. And I realized I was having a stroke. It was a wake-up call about health. Just days after her stroke, Brooks went back to work, and she says it helped with her recovery. Since then, she's been making big strides in tech. And you're talking about tech, you're talking about business. Do you see women in the room? Increasingly, yes. It's still, you know, I think we could do better. There's not as many women that I, I wish there were. Um, it's just really, through a, there's very much a bro culture that is that starts pretty early. Brooks doesn't want to keep being the only woman in the room, so she hopes the industry tackles challenges. Getting raises, getting fair compensation, in terms of getting the attention of investors and having credibility and raising money. Being part of those power structures are very difficult for women. She tells me she'll keep forging a path for women. As for her tech peers, she hopes that they know women are vital and that she's proof women succeed as tech leaders too. For CBS 17 News, I'm Birshal Edmay.